Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata. In today's tutorial, I have a quick one inside Zoho campaigns, but an important one, you're gonna wanna make sure you have these settings configured and it's around topic management and unsubscribing. Uh, before I jump into this video though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I'm here inside Zoho Campaigns, and what we're going to be talking about today is some settings around topic management. So if we go to Contacts and Manage Topics, here you can basically set the different topics in which someone can subscribe to uh, different email campaigns. Um, in this instance, we have our brand, our product, I should say, and under here, we have monthly newsletter and uh, product updates. So this organization, we're sending out you know, to our clients some updates on products that we might be advertising, and then we have our monthly newsletter, which will, in this case, include the latest Soho news. It's important, though, when you configure these, that the wording in here um, is clear on what the user is subscribing to and the description because they can see all of this and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but the, the first thing I wanted to cover in this video was inside settings, the default header and footer that Zoho creates is a little ambiguous. So by default, this is the footer that you see and here you can see not interested, unsubscribe and update profile. Well, unsubscribe unsubscribes from all of the topics we just covered. Well, update profile is their way of wording saying, hey, um, which topics do you want to unsubscribe from? And before this, you weren't able to change this until as of recently, um, but now you can go ahead and change the wording in here. So I went ahead and hit add new, and I basically chose this default theme here and did some edits to it, um, which if we go back, we can see it here. Another quick way to do it though, is you can simply just clone the default and we'll call this and then we're gonna go ahead and click on footer here and then under footer where it says unsubscribe, not interested, unsubscribe to all. And instead of manage preferences here, we're going to word this something like unsubscribe or two. So now we have wording that's a little bit more clear. So when the user, you know, maybe they don't want product updates anymore. Well, but they still want your newsletter. Well, they're just tired of your product updates because they're getting too many of them. So they're just going to unsubscribe to all previously if it was unsubscribed to all, but now rather than manage preferences, they can choose like, hey, maybe this falls under the topic description here um, that they're getting the newsletter for, or in, in this case, the product description for. So if we go back, I'm not gonna save this, um, we have one that's already been created. So I went ahead to save some time and I went ahead and created a test email campaign that I sent to myself with just this basic unsubscribe. But one thing I wanted to cover before I jump into what that email looks like, is so there's another group of settings here that you're gonna wanna configure and I'll show you why in a minute. You go to sign up pages and emails. Here there's a whole lot of customization that you're gonna wanna do. And I'm, just, I'm not gonna cover all of these in this video because it's gonna take a while. But you're going to want to spend some time on this page and go through each one and see if you're using it and if you might be using it and go ahead and configure these now before they're forgotten about. So under topics, we're going to want to go to topics landing page. And as I just mentioned, you know, when they unsubscribe and click that, you know, choose which topic you want to unsubscribe to, this is what they're going to see. And by this is what they're going to see, I mean, this is what they're going to see. The brand name, brand description is not going to pull in your brand name and brand description from maybe the topic or your organization. It is by default this. So you're going to want to go ahead and edit this, maybe put in your logo, update your, your brand name to your actual brand name and description um, and all of this content in here um, 
to be updated. So, and I'm gonna go ahead now and hop over to the email now that we've covered that to kind of show you what this looks like. So, if we hop over to my email now, the, I just sent one uh, prior to this video to kind of speed things up. But here we can see the test uh, campaign I created. And let's go ahead and uns open unsubscribe to all and unsubscribe just to this topic to kind of see what the user sees. And here you can see that um, the wording here is also ambiguous. If you want to change your email preferences, they might not know that this meant, you know, choose which topics you want to unsubscribe to. Most people just hit unsubscribe. And this is also uh, one of the things in settings you can update the wording to. Um, and then in brand name, well, brand here in brand name, uh, here in the unsubscribe from all topics, here you can see, you know, you can choose which topics you want to unsubscribe to and save the preferences. But yeah, as I was just showing in the settings, all of these, all of this wording is exactly how it comes um, by default. So if you haven't updated this yet, if you're sending out emails, this is what it looks like and uh, you should spend the time to update that. And that pretty much covers it for this tutorial. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below because it really helps us out. Also, be sure to check out the descriptions below for links to like our resource library, uh, events page, and Club Zanata, which is our uh, continuously growing online community. Till next time, have a great day.